An eight-man specialized unit named the Ghana Immigration Tax Force has busted a human trafficking syndicate operating in the UK with their counterparts at a pump here in Ghana. The group, which is sourced from the Ghana Immigration Service, is to help fight organized immigration crime groups, especially between Ghana and the United Kingdom. We'll get more of this from the service, but first... Here's a controller general, Kwame Chwatechi, speaking at a ceremony where the visiting UK Home Secretary handed over an office complex from which the tax force will operate 24 hours in a day. Selection process started with 60 officers of the service. These officers were taken through various processes of selection, which included document fraud examination, polygraph tests, and a strict interview session. The above scrutiny exercise led to the selection of final eight out of the initial 60 officers. The officers have undergone various levels of training to equip them for the tax. In February 2020, before the onset of COVID-19 in Ghana, the team undertook an investigative case in Ghana at a town called APAM, which led to the identification and subsequent breakup of a syndicate in the United Kingdom. It was a human trafficking case where the syndicate together with his Ghanaian collaborators, recruited unsuspecting victims as seafarers. This was a major breakthrough for a task force which was yet to assume full operations. The team has received some support in terms of modern equipment and a Toyota Fortuna donated by the British government as part of his collaboration. We are very grateful for the support. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to inform you that the location of this office facility being commissioned today is strategically situated to enable the team carry out its mandate effectively with stakeholders at the Ghana's busiest frontier, Kotoka International Airport, and will be operational 24-7. Head of Public Affairs at the Ghana Immigration Service, Superintendent Michael Amuakwata explains the human trafficking syndicate is still being unraveled even after the bust. So that is the Ghana Immigration Tax Force is a, a specialized unit that is uh, in place to fight against organized immigration crimes and also document fraud. And their first major assignment was a busting of a syndicate uh, where a company in Ghana tried to recruit uh, innocent Ghanaians uh, with the guise of sending them to the UK as seafarers. Then when they get to UK, their passport and other documents and money are seized from them, and then they are forced to engage in certain jobs that is dehumanizing. And they were able to track the, one of the campaigns behind this, and also to get information on the other side, uh, that was in the UK, and uh, the syndicate was busted, and some arrests and prosecutions have been made. And it, it is an ongoing uh, investigation, and uh, from the control general as read in his speech, it was a, a very big success uh, for the unit and to set the pace for them to do more of such uh, investigative uh, operations. Meanwhile, Interior Minister Ambrose Derry says migration and border security remains a priority and the tax force working together with the UK counterparts will clamp down on such crimes, including sexual exploitation and human trafficking. I believe that what we have between Ghana and the UK is true friendship and true partnership. And already the benefits are clear for all of us to see. I would say that we've had this collaboration which has benefited us not just protecting the country for immigration crimes but also during the COVID. Immigration played a very, very important part of our effort to keep COVID under control. The results of that effective border management was manifested when 10 uh, persons, Burkina Bay citizens, were arrested in a hotel in Tamale, and that was due to the hard work of the immigration services. And we do know that these offenses affect 
the governance of the country, the retired economic development, and crimes such as labor exploitation, forced labor, sexual exploitation, and now slavery, modern say slavery, are trends that we must all fight. And I want to take the opportunity to thank the British for building our capacity to be able to do so. The UK, which is funding the project, says the investment is aimed at achieving high standards of investigations, including appropriate handling of suspects while they are being processed for court. Home Secretary Priti Patel, who has also met with National Security Minister Albert Kandapa, says the Migration Tax Force will liaise with UK immigration officials directly. We've just heard about how organised immigration crime and criminals exploit and prey upon the most vulnerable for their own greed and also they are there abusing them and making money out of their harsh and callous business so we know that through our enforcement agencies and the work that we can do together we support each other but actually by working together through the techniques the intelligence sharing the information sharing how we can operationalize together we can stop this appalling crime and we can do much more work upstream, prosecuting them here in country, using the full force of the law and the full arm of all aspects of law enforcement to make sure that we can stop this appalling trade in people trafficking and organised immigration crime. So I'm delighted that we now have the Ghanaian Immigration Task Force with its permanent office and facility. The Honourable Minister and I will be looking at the facility shortly. It's an investment that my government is proud to make here in Ghana. And it's important in terms of training officers. It's important in terms of the skills and the capability that are grown here. But also we have the skills, the ability to interview suspects, protect victims, and we will have custody suites here. So these are vital tools to enable all our officers, we've had the privilege of meeting our officers here today on the ground, to enable them to not just do their job, to protect the population, both Ghana, Ghana and the United Kingdom, from these appalling immigration crimes that have been taking place.